All right, so we're going to do the, uh, we'll go to the same thing on the left side. We'll do a 15-point game. All right? So we'll just do it as a 15-point game. You're passing, and uh, the next person in line is covering. All right? Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to just kind of do this as a game. So now the outside hitters as a group are playing a 15-point game against blockers and team defense. And what we find sometimes when the block kind of gets uh, aware of what the hitters are hitting or the server uh, jams up our passers a little bit, that we might have to handicap the score a little bit. But right now what we're doing is we're doing it off a pass. Hopefully the next person in line is telling the hitter where to hit so the hitters are getting accustomed to listening to somebody telling them what to do, as well as, you know, if we have some balls that uh, are going to be covered, they're in a position to cover the ball. So at this point, the three points have been scored by us not hitting the ball over the net. Nice shot by a small girl going high hands, which would certainly be, uh, you know, what her option would be against two large blockers. So I think how you adapt the game would be, you know, based on uh, how your team scores a little bit. You want to make it close, so we might start the game four, five to zero, with the defensive team winning, just because we know that that gives us the, uh, you know, the best chance of keeping the game competitive. You know, if you're always hitting against a big block, your your chances of hitting a high percentage is uh, is a little slimmer than if we were. Uh, looking at a smaller block. You know, this drill gives us an opportunity as coaches to work with all the players on the team. So we're talking to our defensive players about what they should be doing. We're talking uh, to our hitters about hitting smart and going high hands there at 33, huh? Little high hands, you know? So it also, uh, you know, it kind of works also with the communication between hitter and setter. You know, and now you might give up a little of that power that you saw earlier for hitting smart because we're in a competitive drill. And then one team, when one team maybe gets to 10, we say, okay, you can tip. Okay, you can tip. You can open hand tip or hit roll shots as well as hitting. So what we might want early in the game is to just see if we can work on our ability to take big smart swings and then late in the game have the ability also to mix the ball up if we want and tip and hit roll shots and see which players can identify opportunities to do that.